five years, among the advanced methods of printing that is in vogue in textile industries, and we find that there are two method, conventional methods which are very important, that is advanced uh, or uh, automatic uh, screen printing and rotary screen printing. These two we have already dealt in the previous classes and today we will learn about the digital fabric printing. Today is the world of digitals. The textiles and apparel sector could witness paradigm of changes to produce quality to product, speed up their production and effective management practices through introduction of computers. One of the most revolutionary developments in the textile industry in recent years is the introduction of digital textile printing. It has opened several opportunities to speed up the production, to meet the growing demand, enhance the quality of the product and address the water and uh, environmental issues by reducing the water consumption and thereby reduce the pollution. This process was patented in 1968 itself, but due to the costs involved, the industry has not adopted the same. But due to the environmental protection issues, the manufacturers are in favor of digital printing on textiles. The developments that occurred in the last few years have opened several opportunities in the field of digital printing. Digital textile printing is similar to printing on paper with a computer printer. Using this simple technology, anything can be printed on fabric with ease and greatest precision. As per the industrial records, digital textile printing is contributing to 1% of global demand for printed textiles, which may grow to around 10% in next five years. Few European countries, especially Italy, Turkey and Spain, along with Brazil and India have incorporated digital textile printing, reducing their production on regular screen printing or rotary screen printing. The digital technology has already become an attractive choice for major textile applications of printing apparel fabrics, home furnishings, textiles for interiors, technical textiles and point of purchase displays, signage and so on. Digital textile printing is considered as next generation printing as it is entirely different from the conventional method of producing prints on fabric. In India, the textile industry is embracing textile digital printing technology by creating and printing novel designs on saris and dress materials to meet the demand both from the domestic as well as the international markets. Now we will see what are the advantages, why people are going for it instead of uh, going for uh, screen printing and rotary screen printing which are much faster. The digitally printed textiles have high quality of the print with high resolution, fine patterns, flexibility in printing and unlimited color combinations. Very bright prints are possible in digital printing. Unlike rotary screen printing, there is no restriction for maximum number of colors. Then we have another advantage of uh, unlimited repeat sizes are possible such as landscape designs, signages etc. Contrary to the rotary screen printing wherein the repeat size is limited to the circumference of the rotary cylinder. Samples are made easily and quickly as there is no need to make screens and print samples. Therefore, the cost of the sampling is also low when compared to rotary screen printing or even the automatic screen printing. The fixed costs are low due to lack of uh, screen engraving and also color separation. Otherwise, the costs are too high in case of rotary screen printing and even the screen printing because the screens have to be made and even the cylinders have to be made independently for each color. And in this case, there is no need of making any cylinders or any uh, screens and the time is also being saved over here. As there is growing demand for digitally printed textiles worldwide, there is no need for keeping the uh, stocks. There seems to be high savings in terms of water and energy as there is no need to wash the screens and use huge amounts of water. And then there are no disposal problems too due to lack of excess dye and chemicals that harm the environment. Hence they are termed as eco-friendly. 
And in case of uh, screen printed and uh, rotary screen printed uh, textiles, sometimes we need to wash them after the print is made and even in digital printing sometimes it may be required but even the washing of the screens and the rotary screen will take lot of water and in case of digital printing it is being avoided and so this is considered as a eco friendly method of printing. The ink for printing is used precisely without any spillage and so there will not be any wastage and thus you can save the uh, you know ink. And no depositions of nickel from screens to the fabric as is cast in rotary screen printing. Digital printing is applicable to wide range of fabrics unlike the rotary screen and the screen printing methods. It is easy to produce products incorporating customers ideas into the market in a short time irrespective of the season. In case of uh, other printing methods we have to depend upon the seasonal methods and seasonal printing designs and other things but here there is no need for those things. And flexibility in customizing and personalization of digital print requirements of the customers especially in home textiles can be taken care of. Fashion designers can print low quantities increase in number of niche products hence more creativity in apparel industry is possible. Short time needed to design a textile print pattern and so we can definitely save the you know time and also the resources. And having seen the advantages of the digital printing, we will see what are the drawbacks in this particular printing method. High speed of printing is not possible at present even though digital printing companies are trying to address this drawback. Since there is no need to make screens or cylinders, the time spent on these is used for making the continuous printing. The manufacturers are able to produce now at a shorter time just because there is no backward time that is spent on this and so they are able to produce and they are able to meet the demands in time. The cost of printing is another limitation at present but it may overcome in near future. And let us see the how the process will take place. Digital printing process that is fabric printing it is a process of transferring an image or design onto a fabric using a large format inkjet printer. The process of digital printing consists of few steps like the other printing methods. The raw materials required for this printing process are one is the fabric. The type of fabrics suitable for digital printing depends on the surface characteristics of the fabrics. Generally fabrics with smooth texture and without much fuzziness on the surface are suitable. Since the ink varies with the type of fabric the machine settings also need to be changed. Natural fibers such as cotton, linen, silk, wool and man-made and synthetic fabrics such as viscose, polyester, nylon, lycra etc. are suitable for digital printing. Blended and union fabrics are also printed satisfactorily using this technology. Generally the machines can only cater to print one type of fiber as the ink cannot be mixed and used for printing. So the blended or union fabrics having higher content of one fiber looks brighter than the fabrics having equal or nearly equal content of the fiber. For example cotton and polyester blends of 70 30 can take up the ink suitable for cotton and the print looks brighter. In the same combination if the cotton and polyester are 40-60 the design colors are lighter. Among natural fibers woolen fabrics may pose a difficulty in printing as the high quality printing heads are damaged by the you know protruding fibers the, on the surface of the fabrics. Both woven and knitted fabrics can be printed in spite of stretchability of knitted fabrics. Other blends such as cotton viscose, polyester lycra, polyester wool, polyamide lycra, silk blends can be printed by selecting suitable ink that goes very well with the particular uh, you know fiber. And we have different types of printing inks that are available in the market and also these are suitable for different machines that are invoked today. 
the manufacturers of inks for digital printing are able to produce different types of inks suitable for uh, you know the target market. Uh, so, uh, this is the picture of uh, Sanjeev Kumar. Uh, this is the picture of Sanjeev Kumar. 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 This is the picture of Sanjeev linen hemp jute and also silk these inks exhibit good light fastness besides producing bright shades or bright colors the wash fastness is also good due to the chemical bond created between the fiber polymer and the dye molecule pre treatment is required for fabrics before printing to ensure proper bondage of dye with the fiber after printing the dye needs post treatment with steaming to fix the dye and then washed acid dye based inks are intended for printing nylon silk wool and leather the main application of uh, these printed fabrics are sportswear swimwear lingerie flags banners and accessories such as ties scarves and others these inks possess good light and wash fastness due to the strong bonds created between the fiber and the dye bright colored prints are produced similar to the active dye based inks the fabric needs pre treatment for absorption of the dye and also post treatment with steam to fix the dye followed by washing and then the third category of inks are the dispersed dye inks these are based on the dispersed dyes and these inks are specially produced for polyester fabrics the ink can also be used on lycra and other spandex fibers so this type of ink print is not as bright as reactive or acid based ink prints dispersed dyes are capable of sublimation that is the dye when exposed to higher temperatures it takes up gaseous stage and on cooling it condenses back to solid dye at elevated temperatures the polyester fibers open the micro pores on their surface and the dye in gaseous stage enters the polymer system through the pores on cooling the dye becomes a part of the fiber polymer because the pores are closed at room temperatures the prints show excellent wash fastness and good sunlight fastness also dispersing or basically two types low and high energy inks low energy inks have good light fastness and can be printed on paper and transfer to the fabric or can be printed directly on polyester fabric and then heated in an oven or transfer press high energy inks can be used for outdoor print application due to their excellent light fastness such as lawn furniture tent displays the inks are directly printed on fabrics and fixed by dry heat and the fourth category of uh, inks are the pigmented inks these inks contain pigments and not dyes for coloration resins or binders are required to fix the dye on the surface of the fabric as there is no chemical reaction or bondage that occurs between the ink and the fiber this allows its application on wider range of fabrics and end use performance since resins are used in the ink the pigment content may become less and so the prints may not be bright even though the wash fastness is good if resin content is less it produces bright shades but you know the wash fastness may be moderate the excellent light fastness of pigments is an added advantage for its use on outdoor fabrics and the proportion of the binder and the pigment content should be carefully chosen based on the type of fabric and the end use simple uv curing or exposure to heat is required to fix the ink on fabrics the fabric feel should not be altered after printing because it may become little uh, thicker the so that uh, may be uh, you know altering the feel or the handle of the fabric and so the proportions when you take the resin and the pigment 
you should take care of not to have much of resin it will add to the uh, thickness of the material the chart here shows the applicability of these inks to various fabrics and here you can see that there is a dispersed reactive acid and pigment type of inks and we have uh, here cellulosic fabrics such as cotton linen and rami and protein fibers like silk and wool synthetic and man made fibers like polyester nylon lycra and rayon and so we are showing here the type of ink uh, suitability on the fabric so for example we have a dispersed dye and which is suitable on polyester fabric and reactive dyes are suitable on cotton linen and uh, all the rami and also silk and whereas acid dyes are uh, suitable on silk wool and nylon and pigment dyes we can use on all fibers so let us see what are the types of printers that are available how we can get this wonderful printing on fabrics many types of digital printing uh, machines are available in the market for fabrics based on the type of ink and uh, fabric feeding mechanism they are classified under three categories that is class 1 class 2 and class 3 in class 1 the type of uh, printers are paper to fabric printers the printer utilizes sublimation or dispersed dye ink in combination with transfer papers the speed and size of these printers are customized as per the market trends the curing is done using either heat press or heat fixation calendars the applications include sportswear soft signage and hard surface products in case of class 2 printers these are classified as direct to fabric printers the printer is like class 1 printer but with a gutter for printing strike through the ink used here is a sublimation again or a dispersed dye uh, that uh, directly prints non stretch treated polyester fabrics curing is done with a roll fixation calendar the applications include banner printing sportswear signage cut pieces of apparel manufacture in case of class 3 these printers are designed to cater to stretchable fabrics as it needs to cater uh, to the stretchable fabrics feeding system has been developed to make sure there is minimal shift in the fabric as it is fed through the printer two stretch fabric feeders are mainly present one utilizes a blanket or conveyor belt that contains glue on the sides to hold the fabric in place without much stretch during the printing process the second type is through a roll fed device with a pressure roller both of these mechanisms work well but it depends on the speed of printing and the type of printer for low price printers the speed is low that is around 20 to 50 square meters per hour depending on the model a roller fed device is required for fast printers with speed of 200 to 400 square meters per hour the blanket type of feeding system is required synthetic and uh, natural fiber blended fabrics with more stretch can be printed with the use of class 3 type of printers let us see what are the types of inkjet printing that are available this term inkjet printing is used to describe the process involved in directing individual ink droplets onto the substrate may be a fabric broadly there are two basic process one is drop on demand thermal and other one is the drop on demand piezo the principle behind the drop on demand printers is very simple when the machine control mechanism signals the inkjet head to fire a droplet on a substrate may be a fabric it releases one droplet one signal stands for one droplet both the methods rely on strategically placing drops onto the media maybe it is a fabric the way the drops are dispensed from the inkjet cartridges cartridge nodules makes the difference in case of thermal dod inkjet printing it works by heating the ink inside the print cartridge to about 400 degrees fahrenheit the expanded ink travels from the cartridge reservoir passes through a micro filter to remove any suspended particles that clog the nozzles to the 
inkjet channel. While printing, the thermal heaters heat the ink in the channel, causing it to expand and shoot through the jets. The thermal heater cools and the vacant ink channel are replenished with a filtered ink. The cycle repeats to around 6,900 times per second if required. The major difference between both the methods lies in the type of cartridges used. Thermal printers use disposable cartridges that contain both the ink supply and print head. And these cartridge driven units produce excellent print quality at 300 to 600 drops per inch, but can tend to produce slower print times. In DVD piezo uses a permanent print head in contrast to thermal printers. The technology is based on piezo crystals that change the shape and squeeze the ink chamber. An electrical charge is applied to the cartridge nozzles and excites a small piezo crystal inside the chamber. The stimulated crystal changes its shape and squeeze the ink chamber, expelling the ink forcefully from the nozzles onto the fabric surface. The other method employed is the continuous inkjet fabric printing method. In this method, the ink is constantly pumped out through a nozzle attached to PZT material which generates an inkjet. The nozzle shakes when electrical power excites the PZT material, breaching the inkjet into droplets and allow it over the substrate. So, we have seen the inks and the cartridges that are available that are, that are used for the printing method and let us see what is the software that is being uh, adopted for this kind. Software applications in digital textile printing, they are the color management system and raster image processor that is RIP is required and we also require a printer driver software and also a design layout software. And it is being produced by different uh, you know, companies, but these are the major softwares that are required for digital printing. And let us see now what are the steps in digital textile printing. The first step in this is the design development. Whenever we want to go for printing, we have to look for the design. So, the artist creates an image in any graphic design mode such as Adobe Illustrator and formats it you know, as a tagged image file format or TIFF file. This file format is preferred by artists as it stores all the details of the image than JPEG format even though it takes up more space than the JPEG images. Alternatively, the existing artwork or original drawings of the artists can be scanned and used as an image. The image options are endless. It can print anything on fabric, plastic or film or any other material. So, then another next step is the pre-treatment of the fabric. So, the fabrics are pre-treated to get ready for receiving the dye. The type of treatment depends upon the type of fiber present in the fabric. These pre-treatments are required even for other mechanical methods of printing. For better absorption, the fabrics are sometimes padded with the required chemical. Then coming to the original printing process, once the pre-treated fabric is ready, it is fed through the printer by one of the two mechanisms furnished in the printer. The design or image is printed on fabric in the form of tiny droplets. The fabric is then finished using either steam or dry heat to fix the dye. Then it is washed, dried and calendared. So, so far we have seen how uh, the fabric is you know digitally printed. That means, uh, we have seen you know what are the types of inks that are uh, present and we have seen also the machines required for this kind of printer printing and uh, also we have seen you know how the process of uh, printing takes place in the industries. And uh, so, this uh, particular uh, digital textile printing it is in a growing market and will continue to grow as a viable mainstream option in textile printing. It may take over the conventional printing in near future due to eco-friendliness of the process 
and the brightness of the print.